Hello everyone, mabuhay! You're about to watch Research Lecture Series. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that you will be notified with the upcoming series. You may also share the link to your students, classmates, or friends. Enjoy watching! This is a research spectrum that I developed which presents a snapshot of the entirety of this research lecture series. For series 2, the main concepts found at the first tier or level, particularly pure and applied research classifications, shall be discussed exclusively. Research Lecture Series 2 deals with pure and applied researches. It presents the differences between the two classifications. It also provides the conditions that may influence selection between pure and applied researches. In terms of purpose or utility, researches may be classified as pure or applied. Most research books have not provided clear-cut distinction between the two classifications. This dichotomy is best exemplified as follows. Pure research has a goal of understanding, while applied research has a goal of use. Pure research is a study conducted to know more about a particular subject, phenomenon, processes, or current condition. It is also known as basic or fundamental research since its content is purely theoretical. It provides greater understanding on subjects where little or no information is available in the literature. It generates new knowledge, concepts, theories, or principles which are not substantially explored by previous studies. Peer research's primary purpose is to know more about a phenomenon. Its goal is the creation of new knowledge about how fundamental processes work. For Glenn, pure or basic research is intended for the advancement of knowledge and the theoretical understanding of the relations among variables. Exploratory studies are classified as pure or basic researches. Siri Bastaba and Rego explain that exploratory research is undertaken when the research topic is new and not much is known or researched about the topic. These authors claim that this space mainly concentrates on understanding the topic and identifying variables. An exploratory research systematically explores particular phenomena without having in view either general explanatory objectives or any applied use to which the result will be put, says Stop. Pure research often precedes applied research. Glenn find that basic research was considered as an activity that preceded applied research, which in turn preceded development into practical applications. Clinical trials initially require exploratory studies with a goal of use. A new phenomenon like the COVID-19 virus necessitates exploration about its nature, symptoms, effects, and origin since there is a very limited information about the disease. After identifying these variables, a descriptive study is usually conducted to determine the prevalence or presence of the symptoms culled from the exploratory study among those who are suspected to have acquired the new disease. Both initial studies, exploratory and descriptive, are pure or basic researches since their purposes are to know more about the phenomenon and to describe the common conditions of the patients. Although the ultimate objective is to find cure or discover a vaccine of the COVID-19, both preliminary studies are not considered as applied research. It only becomes as such when a research is conducted to determine the efficacy of a newly discovered drug in treating the new disease in a causal or experimental study. While it is often hoped that basic research findings will eventually be helpful in solving particular problems, 
Such problem solving is not the immediate or driving goal of basic research according to Hedrick and Brickman and Rowe. These authors claim further that self-report and simple paper and pencil measures, example, self-report satisfaction with participation in a program, often are deemed to be inadequate for applied research. They advise that if attempts are being made to address a social problem, then real-world measures directly related to that problem are desirable. Highlights of Pure Research Pure Research is also known as Basic or Fundamental Research. Pure Research is conducted to know more about a particular subject, phenomenon, processes, or current condition. It provides greater understanding on subjects where little or no information is available in the literature. It generates new knowledge, concepts, theories, or principles which are not substantially explored by previous studies. Its goal is the creation of new knowledge or advancement of knowledge. Exploratory study that aims to understand a topic and identify its variables is a pure research. View research often precedes applied research such as exploratory research as basis for intervention of an existing problem. Clinical trials require exploratory studies or fewer prior to the development of treatment followed by testing its efficacy to animals than to humans. While it is often hoped that basic research findings will eventually be helpful in solving particular problems, such problem solving is not the immediate or driving goal of basic research according to Hendricks Lickman. Self-report and simple paper and pencil measures often are deemed to be inadequate for applied research. Applied research is an investigation whose primary goal is to resolve a particular problem. It is conducted to seek solutions to existing problems, claims Nyes Riadomi. Thus, problem solving is the driving goal of applied research. The researcher initially conceptualizes an intervention or treatment and tests its effectiveness through an exploratory research which could be either experimental or quasi-experimental. Not all experimental studies are applied researches. Brink and Wood avert that not all experimental designs, however, are applied. While some experiments are conducted to increase knowledge only, to see what will happen in a controlled setting when variables are manipulated. Laboratory experiments in chemistry class, such as testing the effect of adding alkali metal to water, is conducted to increase knowledge and not on solving existing problems. Such experiment is a pure or basic research as it only proved a natural tendency through scientific and empirical investigation. Conversely, an experiment that tests the potential of a fermented organic matter in normalizing water acidity of a contaminated waterway is an applied research. Intervention studies popularly known as action researches are innately applied. Testing intervention or treatments is applied research, according to Brink and Wood. Action researches best typify an applied research since an intervention is being tested to solve an identified existing problem. Examples of intervention studies being undertaken are the clinical trials of remdesivir drug and the Sputnik V vaccine to treat and prevent COVID-19 pandemic. 
some studies are mistakenly perceived as applied researches. Graduate school researchers, for instance, commonly include in their research title a proposed application of research findings which create confusion. An example of this is teachers' competence on the utilization of e-learning platform towards an ICT training program. The title creates a perception that it is an applied research because of the implied intent of the study towards the end of the title. The study seeks to measure only the competence of teachers in utilizing the e-learning platform and the findings will serve as the basis in developing ICT training program. It becomes an applied research though when the title is reversed into ICT training program towards teachers' competence on the utilization of e-learning platform. Such study aims to apply an ICT training program and find out if it is effective in improving the competence of teachers in utilizing the e-learning platform. The former is an example of research that sets direction for policy formulation which could be adapted or implemented. Researchers hope their work will be used by administrators and policymakers to improve the way things are done. However, the actual implementation or utilization of proposed program does not translate the study into an applied research. It remains a pure or basic research since its original intent is just to measure teachers' competence. A new research must be conducted to test the effectiveness of the ICT training program in raising teachers' competence, which is an example of applied research. Schools have distinct institutional research trust. The Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, guarantees balanced attention to basic and applied research. For institutions that offer multidisciplinary courses, a balanced production of pure and applied researches is ideal. However, specialized institutions such as those offering sciences and technology courses or arts and social sciences typically set preference either pure or applied research. In Great Britain, Cambridge and Oxford have the highest levels of pure research and speed out business in the UK universities. Teachers who wish to be promoted to higher ranks are required to present 
completed or published researches for public higher education institutions or HEIs in the Philippines, associate professor and full professor ranks necessitate published scientific studies. For public basic education teachers, applicants for master teacher ranks must have initiated or headed an educational research duly approved by the educational authorities according to DO No. 66 of 2007. The Department of Education or DepEd, for instance, prefers action research to be undertaken by teachers of lower ranks while master teachers may conduct either action or basic research or both. Personnel who occupy researcher items are mandated to produce or to take part in research projects. Academic institutions, particularly in the tertiary level, have in-house researchers who are in charge of institutional studies. In addition, faculty members of higher education institutions are likewise required to engage in research. Other than providing instruction, Philippine HEI teachers perform three more functions that include research, extension, and production. Academic institutions may conduct pure research as contribution to knowledge or applied research to solve existing education-related problems. Researchers who have earned good reputation from previous works are commissioned by companies to do market research or feasibility studies for them. Government agencies are also offering research grants to researchers from academic institutions, organizations, or research firms. Sponsoring agencies also specify the kind of research when they call for research proposals and only those papers aligned to the theme are considered for initial evaluation. The call for research proposals are usually published in their websites in PILGEPS, a centralized information and procurement portal of the government, and even in the major dailies. Proponents who meet the requirements of the agency are shortlisted and from which the best research proposal is selected. The sponsoring companies or agencies specify whether the research project called for is pure or applied. For researchers that are personally initiated, the decision rests on the researchers whether to pursue pure or applied studies. Researchers have the freedom to select any topic of their interest. The pitfall, however, is the non-acceptance for promotion, particularly in public tertiary schools, if such researches are not within the specialization of teachers, even if they are published in international refereed journals. The consolation, nevertheless, is the opportunity for growth of the researcher, which may open more doors for commissioned researches in the future. As previously mentioned, Sponsoring agencies look at the research portfolios of the research proponents. Highlights The following conditions significantly influence whether to pursue a pure or applied research requirement of a course requisite for promotion innate to the job, additional income, and personal motivation. Researches that are conducted as part of academic requirement, such as thesis or dissertations, should comply with the school's research trusts. CHED encourages HEIs to adopt a balanced attention to basic and applied researches. Research is a requirement for promotion among teachers. Applicants for associate professor and full professor ranks should submit a published scientific research within their specializations. Personnel who occupy researcher items are mandated to produce or take part in research projects. In-house researchers work on pure or applied research projects depending on the approved institutional studies. 
Researchers earn additional income through commission projects from sponsoring companies or government agencies. Sponsoring agencies publish call for research proposals through their websites in PILGEPs or in major dailies and specify therein the research topics and classifications. For personal initiated researchers, the decisions rest on the researchers whether to pursue pure or applied studies and to select any topic of their interest. Promotion of teachers for public tertiary schools does not consider researchers that are not within their specializations. That ends our research lecture series for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, and share the link to your students, classmates, and friends. Thank you for watching.